Another thing I thought it'd be good to uh, mention today is, is the history of sustainability. One of the uh, ways of studying sustainable agriculture to figure out what's really sustainable is to look around the world at the kind of agricultural systems that have been going for thousands of years. Those must be the ones that are sustainable. So you can look at flooded rice in China and Southeast Asia. You can look at uh, flooded wheat and barley in the Tigris-Euphrates river basins or along the Nile in Egypt and so forth. You can look at those, those systems. And one of the interesting things about those agricultural systems are by and large along river valleys that get regular floods. And one of the problems that we have in agriculture is taking care of the soil and maintaining the nutrient level in the soil. And if you're on a major river valley that gets regular floods, bringing erosion, natural erosion from the highlands to the river valley, covering the valleys every spring with a new layer of silt, of soil, you maintain the, the fertility. That system has been going maybe for 10, maybe 15,000 years. Pretty sustainable if you set it up that way. But what we have done is put dams on the river valleys. They're not flooding anymore, so we have to develop the fertilizer industry to sustain it. There's another system of agriculture that maybe is um, seven, 10,000 years old, and it is based on grassland farming. And uh, it's actually the mixed cropping system that was practiced in Europe. It's larger than Europe, but it was imported into North America by the European immigrants. And so you see farms that are growing in, in Europe, what would have been wheat and barley and rye and sugar beets and so forth. In the United States, we added corn to that system. But though they were growing crops, they had livestock, they had dairy cows, they had beef cows, they had pigs, they had chickens. Very mixed and complicated agricultural system. But when you go back and look at the nutrient cycle, how do you keep the nutrients on the land? The pastures in those systems were on the lowlands. And they weren't major rivers like the Nile or the Tigris or Euphrates or even the Mississippi. They were small streams that nevertheless flooded and deposited soil deposits on this wetland. And that's where they produced hay. That's maybe where they had their pastures. But hay production in this kind of climate where it was developed was important. And then you grew your, your uh, crops on the uplands. And you moved the nutrients in the hay to the cows. You collected the manure and hold it, hauled it back on to the uplands. So using livestock manure was an important part of the sustainable system that lasted 7,000 years anyway. And it's what we were practicing probably roughly till 1950. And since then, we've moved into different kinds of agriculture, and we've not been at it long enough to figure out if it's sustainable. But if you look at what were the concerns that we have about the supply of uh, natural gas, of uh, petroleum, of uh, the uh, fertilizer supplies, and you know, there's lots of argument about it. But there are, are reasons to say, I'm not sure this is going to last very long probably not for 7,000 years.